on the last episode of Star Plays Dragon Age Inquisition. Star's recording equipment broke for the second time during this playthrough, so now I must tell you what happened. It started with talking with Connor, the Arl's son, who still holds the scars of his dealings with the Desire Demon ten years prior in Origins. And it is this may that Tevinter has taken over the mages here. Eventually we went up to the Chantry only to discover another rift had been opened. But with aid from a mysterious Tevinter mage, Dorian, who has an amazing porn stash, we were able to fight off the demons and discover the horrible truth that Alexius is traveling through time and he wants us for some reason and with the aid of Dorian and Felix we will figure out what we also spent much time in the hinterlands finding stray goats killing apostate discovering their stronghold finding a book for Vivian finding more shards eventually heading back to Haven where we spoke with Blackwall on his thoughts of the Inquisition. Now we are in Storm Coast, hopefully to advance to the rendezvous point and to find the Iron Bull. All this and more on the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Now that that's out of the way, Hey, you. This might interest you, sir. Okay, what do you got? What is it? See for yourself, sir. Oh, thank you. I got... Ooh, spider ichor. Ichor. Okay. In that case... Also, let me see if I can find the iron bow. All right. Oops, sorry, I'm just staring at my cat. She's just realized the TV was there and she's staring at her reflection. <laughs> Poor Bojo. <laughs> he has no brain. Anyway. Lightning bolt. Am I not hitting this guy? Oh, there's the iron bolt. I guess he's taking care of it. I think. Or maybe that's their men? They're not doing any damage! Oh, now you're doing damage! What the hell was that? That was weird. Die, you horrible zealot! Hang on, I'm coming! Get 
Chargers, stand down. Prim, how'd we do? Four of the six wounded, Chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. It's awkward hearing Freddy Prince Jr. out of that. So, you're with the Inquisition, huh? Glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks are coming. You don't talk like normal, um, Canari. You're less serious. Iron Bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. He must have, like, has he been not been born to the Kuhn? I assume you remember Chromisius Aklasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. How expensive are you? How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Wouldn't cost you anything, personally. Unless you want to buy drinks later. Your ambassador, uh, what's her name? Josephine. We'd go through her and get the payments set up. Gold will take care of itself. Don't worry about that. All that matters is we're worth it. <laughs> You're definitely useful. The Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? Um, only a little. They're a Kunari organization, right? The equivalent of their guards in City Watch. I'd go closer to spies. But yeah, that's them. Or, well, us. The Ben Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happening. But I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Olay. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. Um, hang on. I'm just curious. You're a Kunari spy, and you just... told me. Whatever happened at that Conclave thing, it's bad. Someone needs to get that breach closed. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition? <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Especially with Lilian. Better you hear it right up front from me. True. What would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. Fair enough. What can you tell us? What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone there, not much. But if your spy master is worth it, damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. I don't think she'd be interested in you. Or again, thought about it, but after what Sten told us, no. All right, buddy. You're hired. All right, you're in. Excellent. Krem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tervinter, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Haven. All right, new party members. Okay, well, let's see who they'll leave. Now... Now, actually, I'll go with Sarah. Uh, let's see, where are you? Iron Bull. Let's go, Vivian. Iron Bull, alright.
So let's see what you got, big guy. Betcha he's more on the two-hander side. Uh, let me see what's his inventory like. He looks like, yeah, he looks like he's a two-hander, so. do we do next? Well, I think this is the only other thing I can do at the moment. Well, there's a lot to do, actually, but let's start here. But yeah, Freddy Prince Jr. is not the guy I would have expected for the voice of a canary. Are those Mabari? Those must be the bandits Harding mentioned. Those are Mabari. Or Hesren. Hard to tell, but it's hard to tell what their armor on. Let's hope you're a better tank than Sten was. I think I spoke too soon. Oh, yeah, I think I spoke too soon. Oh no, it is a Mabari. Crud. I like my baris. But yeah, let's hope you're a better... Yeah, I'm really hoping you're a better tank than Sten. Like, I had no luck with Sten for some reason. I gave him the juggernaut armor, I gave him, like, the best equipment, and I upped his defense, like, his constitution and his strength and everything really, like, min-maxed him, and he still died constantly. <laughs> Whoops, slipped. But anyway, now I have two more party members I have to get. Dorian, we've already met, although you guys didn't get to see him. You'll probably see him later. And there's one other character. We need one more rogue. Although I don't know when we're getting him. Whoa. Slippery. I don't think I'm getting up there, guys. Unless there's a other path. Well, I just go around. Huh. I still have to complete everything I have to do in the hinterlands, but that's probably going to be a while too. And I still have to go back to the Fallowmire. Well, I need two more uh, points in order to negotiate with either the mages or the Templars. It's a great cove. How great is it? There's a lot of you. I just 
consume the potion, you stupid tutorial thingy. Ah, doggy! No, doggy! I like doggies! Don't hurt me, doggy! Ah! No, bad doggy! No treat for you! So the real question is, uh, where's the rendezvous point? Should be around here somewhere, right? It's usually like right in the eye. Must be this house. It's the only thing I can think of. Probably not. Everybody get out of my way. Also, Bull, you're quite short for a canary. I'm right on there. You're not going to start that Kyun rubbish where you're trying to convert me, are you? <laughs> oh, 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 no. What's so funny about that? <laughs> you, uh, you aren't really Vidithari material. What's that mean? I could be a Vidi, Vivi, one of those things. Bloody good one, too. Aren't you two cute together? If she wasn't a lesbian, I would be like, oh, I ship it. But no, seriously, where's the hell's the rendezvous point? I'm supposed to be standing like right on top of it. Here, you probably don't need that. Let's give you not no. You're an archer. Let's go with archery here. Vivian had a level up as well. So yeah, where am I looking? Hey Ram, do you know where the rendezvous point is? Should be around here. Hello! Anybody home? Help. Kinda wanna talk! What am I looking for? Woo!
Is it in here? These must be the missing soldiers. Someone should pay for this. True. Okay. Give me the map. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. Okay. And what does this say? Bandit notes. These notes were found near murdered Inquisition soldiers. This paper is not crumbled or torn as though it were left behind in instead of dropped. It's not our place to disagree. They're attempting to set up themselves up along the shore and we have orders. We are the sword, not the hand that wields it. You taught me that. If they're worthy, let them come with the mercy's crest. The blades of Hesarian will listen. You will only get yourself cast out or worse. Our men were murdered by a group called the Blades of Hesarian. If you're interested, it looks like we can challenge their leader. Naming themselves after the sword that killed Andraste. Ambitious. Very. Right. Blades and their challenges. Biggest sword wins. Fair enough. Now, let me just look at this stuff. I haven't really looked at any of these weapons. See here, any better stuff than what you got? Give you that one, I guess. No, what you have is better, it seems. And what about you? Well. All right. Let's check armor here. Anything on the helmets? I guess I'll give that to you for now. Any accessories here? that. Take that. Oh, that's cunning. No, no. Sarah, I'll give it to you. Alright, I think that's all I can do for now with that. So let's head out, guys. I didn't even run into deep stalkers. Why would I have the hides? Like, 
deep stalkers you see mainly in the deep roads. You know, those, those things are like part dinosaur, part worm. Ooh, that's a long drop. Eh, uh, YOLO, am I right? I think I found them. Hi. I'm falling back. Die faster! Die faster! Thanks for the loot, dude. Whoopee, I got cotton. Whoa. Is that supposed to be intimidating? That's a wyvern, isn't it? Knock knock. Oh boy. in trouble. down. Crap. down.
get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Well, that sucked. And there's still one more enemy there. Or two. Or three. Or crap. Come on, Bo, I need you. Well, we got another one down, at least. not going well. Town Chapter 2 by Beric Tethras. <laughs> He's not even here. Magistrate Dunwald's butler had the air of a man who had never risen before dawn in his life. He stared down his nose at Don and Bred Brnankovic and his partner Jevlin as if he were on some lofty balcony above them instead of standing in the parlor in his dressing gown. The magistrate is indisposed. This can wait until a reasonable hour, he gestured for the guards to see themselves out. The magistrate is dead, Don corrected him. Wake the household. As the butler left, Jevlin's shift uneasily in his new armor. Shouldn't the captain be here? You want to go back to the barracks? Be my guest, Don had said with a shrug, only half listening as he studied the collection displayed in the room. A dozen ancient swords lay nestled in display cases, protected from dust and prying fingers. He moved to lift the lid to the nearest one. Jevlin started to protest, but then the doors opened. She had eyes the color topaz and dark hair that fell across her brow like sword strokes. She strolled into the parlor with such dignified elegance that Don didn't realize for several minutes that she was clad in a housecoat and not a ball gown. You've news about my husband? What's Seamus done this time? Forget to pay his bill at the Rose? She seated herself and indicated that the guards do the same. Don nodded at the recruit speak up. Jevlin stuttered. No, the Dunwald actually. She interrupted with a wave. Marielle, please. Lady Morel, your husband has been murdered. Don took over for the flushed recruit. When did you see him last? Marielle stared at him, her jewel-colored eyes wide, and her voice cracked on, Murdered? Seamus? But a heartbeat, maybe two, passed, and she again became the perfect picture of noble grace. I saw him at dinner, she answered in a tone anyone might use to comment, comment on the weather. He left before dusk. He said he was going to play Wicked Grace with the Comte de Favre. 
Do you know of anyone who might have wanted him dead? Jevlin asked softly. People want Magister dead on principle. She gave a wry smile, but her voice grew pain. Criminals, political rivals, even people in his district who disagreed with him. She drifted off, lost in thought, and then turned it on, and eyes blazing. A week ago, a letter came. Vague threats. I thought it was nothing but upset Seamus. Who sent it? Dunn asked. It wasn't signed, but the seal was six crossed swords. Hmm. I probably ran into something like that, but I don't recall. I know Seamus was the name of the Viscount's son who was murdered. What is that horrendous smell? Nothing. Where, where is it coming from? Nowhere. Uh. Sarah, did you fart? Everyone does it, right? <laughs> Alright. Time to loot some more. I definitely gotta get myself all healed up. <laughs> 